Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. Oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay. I understand. What'd he say? Well, he'll do it. No problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. Abandonment issues? Who is this freak? Why can't I meet someone normal for a change? You Tommy? Oh. Oh, of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. See, there are some people that think That's why you should give now. Correct. Next week is Environmental Week, sponsored by my Botsu and the Vice City Power Corporation. And next month, we're celebrating Proust's influence on Vice City. It's illegal street racing drugs at Vice Point. Calling all officers. Street racing. This is illegal and advertising free zone. Welcome back. The show is pressing issues. The subject is morality. I'm Maurice Chavez. Let's carry on pressing the issue. Now, when the Europeans were done ruining their continent with bland food and soccer riots and arrived in the Americas in the late 15th century, the subject soon turned to morality. You see, Europeans wanted to colonize America, so they had somebody to make fun of. The pilgrims left England for the religious freedom in Holland, where they visited coffee shops, and after they packed up their ships with plenty of coffee, tea, and cakes to liven up the trip, they set sail for the New World which they heard had a magnificent roller coaster. Once they got here, they were very hungry, having been on a ship for 65 days. So they ate for three days straight. Thanksgiving quickly became an annual custom. America was founded by people who wanted a place where they could tell other people how to live. And I'm a history major. But do we have the right? The question, is it moral to celebrate Thanksgiving, a holiday that is clearly about gluttony, annoying relatives, and awful casserole? Well, I for one love a casserole, and at my weekly meeting, my congregation has a potluck. You see, a casserole is a lot like life, Maurice, and that's the basis of my philosophy. If you put a bunch of leftovers from the fridge in a pan and bake it, somebody will probably eat it. It's like my book. You believe in your favorite sports team, then they get massacred. You believe in gravity, then it turns upside down on you. You love your favorite TV show, then the network ends it with a lousy finale. But you can believe in me, and if you believe in something, support it. It's one thing to love something, but if you don't shower it with money, then just don't talk to me. Communism, don't make me puke my guts out, please. Well, I must love casseroles on Thanksgiving. Okay, I'll drive for you, but please. the way to teach your children the rich bad. history of America is through... As you can see, gentlemen, this is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. <laughs> Tommy, seriously, you gotta consider going into law. <sighs> what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's gonna be no problem. We got Cam on safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. And Hillary will drive the get I, I don't... Door. Uh... <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like... Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us. And he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank. We wave the gun around. And leave very rich men. I'll drive. Great! A passenger... Why do I tell the group about this? 
So, welcome back and all that stuff. You're on K-Chat with me, Amy Schreckenhausen, on Vice City Station for the stars, including me. And boys, have I got a treat for you. Tommy, Hillary's taking up too much room. I am not. R2. Hey, shut up, you two, or you can get out and walk. Yeah, Hillary. Oh my god, I just got flattened by a truck. How is that fair? It's sports legend BJ Smith. So, BJ, welcome. Thanks. It's a real pleasure to be here. Oh, I know. For one thing, sweetheart, I never won the World Series. That's baseball. I play football. Yes, but it's all the same, isn't it? Football and baseball aren't the same. And one of them, you get bored during a five hour game. You touch yourself a lot and start a massive brawl with players who are degenerates, egomaniacs, and criminals. The others. Yes, but it's all the same. No, Amy, it isn't. Anyone can hit a home run. In baseball, you stand around the field, dividing your salary by 162. God's sake, Bill, stop waving that thing around. Football. He's been in the. Keep driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. Okay, guys, nice and easy, just as we planned. I am King Cubano, man. This is a race! <laughs> Nobody move! Everybody up against that wall! Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that! Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. I mean... <laughs> It's a flangy 9000. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find the manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. Bill, things still sweet? Sure. Everything's real quiet. You little... <laughs> You, you're coming with me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot. I said nobody move! It's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. I told you not to touch that alarm! The SWAT team will be here any minute. I could do with some help here, Tommy! Uh. 
themselves. You're rotten bastards. Tommy, the vault's Seven, open. Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place. Take cover! This rope is too hot! Him a better issues. Hey guys, get in! I got you covered. Sanitation facilities. You can still visit your old people, but now you have the comfort of knowing you don't have to. After they pass on to something better, guaranteed in three months or less, you can start enjoying their money. Finally, you can have quality family time again. Musty Pines. Now you don't have to say goodbye. Drive through service also available. He was just the boy next door. Hi, well, hello there, Danny. I didn't know it was hockey season. A deadly curse, a deranged killer, a small town in tears, knife after... Tommy, what I tell ya? Ben Swap better watch out when Ken Paul is in town. Come on, give me a bigger slice, mate. Come on, I've got you some new friends.
Bon My friend, she's a goth. She got sacked for wearing makeup and an I Hate Life t-shirt to work and never saw a penny. <laughs> she like um football stuff. She teaches kindergarten professionally. You know, I know a lot of players who need to go back to school after they finish playing. It's a tough life and you lose something. What did you lose? Oh, diction, something. It's brutal out there. That's just... Guess you're the new owner. What are you, mob, cartel? You don't look Mexican. Anywho, I guess you better get on with the things are gonna change around here, crap. Maybe threaten one of the drivers. Go steady on Ted over there. He's just had his hernia fixed. Well, uh, yeah, things are gonna change around here, lady. Oh, crap, Sonny. Might as well leave this to me. I've been doing this for years. Now, here's this. We are now under new management, and things are gonna change around here again. Our new management team. Which gang are you? Well, I'm not part of any gang, actually. What's your goddamn name, kid? Versetti. Tommy Versetti. Our new management, the Versetti gang, is gonna make sure we get no trouble. Capiche? Out. Did you like the capiche? I like the capiche. So this is how it's worked in the past. We run the firm as usual. If we get any trouble from rival firms, you beat the crap out of them. Then they beat the crap out of us. Then you beat the crap out of them, etc., etc. You got it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Just grab a taxi from the garage if you feel like jumping in. Starfish Island. Any takers? Tommy here. I'll take it. So... Betty Genetron, you can play video games hey. just like you're in the arcade. Excellent! The Degenitron gaming system plays three exciting games, including Defender of the Faith, where you save the green dots with your fantastic flying red square. Cool! Monkey's Paradise, where you swing from green dot to green dot with your red square monkey. That's red! And Penetrator, where you smash the green dots deep inside the mysterious red square. Wow! The Degenitron brings arcade realism to your living room. It can even take quarters, and a strange, sweaty man comes by to empty the machine on Fridays. Degenitron! Degenitron, fighting the evil of boredom. This is my fair. Back off, asshole. Do you have dry mouth? I sure do. It protects your teeth, fights infection, and lubricates your food. But what happens when you run out of saliva? Help me, I can't talk. For personal dryness upstairs, Salivex. Wow, I can... Come on, come on, get in, quick. Salivex. Okay, okay, just please, don't hurt me. Proves consumption efficiency by 50%. No more halfway cures like coating your throat with cooking oil to have that extra piece of cake or bowl of kitty litter. After a night out, my tongue tasted like carpet. It was embarrassing. Now with Salivex, I can eat a whole box of crackers or lick my life partner's... Stamp collection. Oh, it's like having a salivation army in my mouth. Now I can suck up Lollipop for as I long as I want. Salivex tastes like your own saliva. That's because at Salivex's state-of-the-art production facilities, we use salivation philanthropists who make Salivex all day. Salivex, when it comes to personal dryness upstairs, we're deadly serious. Welcome back to KJAT. My next guest is the star of the hit show, Just the Five of Us, where he appears as the rich father of a family of misfits. But more recently, he's working on the controversial theater piece, In the Future, There Will Be Robots. Claude, that's a not. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Amy. However, you have mispronounced my name. It's Matt. So 
pleasure to discuss my art.